hi guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel my name is daisy for you guys that do know me hi people that don't know me it's nice to meet you so um you guys are probably all wondering why my daughter's not in this video or eddie and i'm kind of gonna give you guys like a reason why i didn't want to start off introducing my little family so i'm just gonna talk about um melissa's disability in this video and then in the, the next video I'll bring her in because I, there is a lot of people that are really rude i guess you could say um because you know she doesn't talk so um that's one of the reasons why i kind of want to do this video first but anyways so i got pregnant at age 18. um i actually found out on my 18th birthday that I was pregnant so I would always get my period on the first and my birthday is on the 6th of December so you know it was like the 6th and I was like well I'm not getting my period why aren't I getting it so um I took a pregnancy test and uh, I found out I was pregnant so I told my baby daddy and he was excited this and that you know how every couple should be and well you know i went through my trimesters and stuff so then i was actually on my due date that um i was in labor i mean i didn't know um i was i thought i just had a go number two but you know so what happened was i woke up in the middle of the night i was having like the worst stomach pains like literally the worst um, so then I was like, okay, I probably have to go take a shit. So, um, well, well, I went, well, I tried to take a shit and it was just not, you know, not wanting to go through. I was just having the hardest time. So, um, I'm like, okay, so if I'm not taking this, like, I don't have to take a shit, what is going on? So I thought maybe it was just cramps I, I don't know at this time I don't know I thought it was just cramps and um then I took a shower I was like you know maybe it would help me if I took a shower so um I took a shower and then the cramps were obviously obviously still there um so I was like you know I don't know what's going on so I tried to lay down and go back to bed because it was it was still early and you know that didn't work at the it just started getting worse and worse and worse so i was like you know i i think i i'm in labor so i told my daddy and he was like really and i was like yeah like we need to go now you know and it was weird because like i took a shower i did my makeup i did my hair i did all those things um so like i was looking popping whenever i went to labor so then you know i had melissa but i did have difficulties when i was in labor um i had a 106 fever i believe and i was throwing up so it was like a bad you know it, it, it was bad um i did get the epidural and i think i have i don't know why but i believe in my heart that that was the reason why I got sick because I was just fine before I got it so um you know that's why I believe I did get sick um so then my baby was born um and she did have the fever too I passed it on to her so pretty much um she got it and she had to stay at the hospital for a week I stayed with her um you know I was there for her like I fed her like I was just there all day while I was doing my homework and stuff so um, the week passed and um, the week passed and you know how when babies leave they have to take like the hearing um, test before they go home so Melissa took one and there was like literally no sound and she caught nothing so the doctor thought like 
maybe she had water in her ears, which most babies do. So she was like, you know, come back in a week or two and we'll do like this test again. So I said, okay. Um, then we came back and you know, she failed again. So she thought maybe she still had um, water in her ear. So she was just like, okay, we're gonna do another one. You come back. So we did another one and you know, like always she failed again so she thought like maybe she was just born deaf at this point i'm just like i don't think so you know because like babies they sense vibrations so at that time i thought like she was able to hear me because when i talked to her she went directly to me and she like kind of moved her eyes around so i i was in denial and um so then we took her to oakland um to, like to a specialist and she felt again and i was still in denial so um they made us go again and she caught no sound this was like the fifth time that she was catching no sound and it was up to she was one year old i still ha i was still in denial that she that she wasn't dead i could have swore that i always thought she was able to hear me because um like i said i would talk and she would like look at me so i had no reason to suspect she was deaf so um it was when she was like two two or three she wasn't talking so i thought maybe she was like a a late boomer you know so um i just said okay so she's just pretty much a little bit late I not once thought she was deaf um, until we had another hearing test and she failed. She, you know, she wasn't talking. So then little by little, I was like, oh, you know, maybe she is. So, um, you know, we put her in programs where the teachers would come over to our house and teach her sign language. And then um, maybe we'll learn it too. And then she started going into like a deaf school and she learned up how to do signs. She learned up how to do signs. And then um, still till today, she does do signs. She doesn't talk. She's five now. Um, sorry guys. This is just a, a hard topic to talk about. Because you would never think your child would, you know. This is like one of the topics I don't like to talk about. Every time I do talk about it, I do break down and cry. So that's why I don't tell people that she's deaf. You know, some of you guys don't, wouldn't have suspected because I don't, I probably posted it once that she was deaf or twice, but um, most of the people don't know that she is. So I'm going kind of doing like a little video before I bring her in. And I thought it would help other moms that are going through the same thing so that's why i kind of decided to do like vlogs of like how it is to have like a deaf baby but anyways i'm gonna start i'm gonna stop crying now because it's not cute it's just like an emotional an emotional thing that i go through every day i mean i don't i mean it's sad yeah um because i was i mean my baby doesn't know what her name is she i mean she knows how to spell it and stuff but she doesn't she doesn't know her name like she's not able to hear her name so she will never get to know that but um pretty much it sucks i mean she doesn't know my name um, so it just kind of makes me sad um so anyways she's really smart um she knows a lot of signs she knows all her animals her colors um her 
pretty much everything. Like she knows her stairs, um, her weathers. Um, she knows how to sign. Did I say all her colors? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I did, but right now I'm just like all over the place. Um, I'm pretty sure she knows. Like last time I got like a, um, you know, when they do like meetings at school, she did have like 150 sign language like signs that she does know. Um, she knows how to say I love you. She knows um to say mom, dad, aunt, uncle. She knows how to say um pretty much everything. She's a smart little girl, but um you know every like once a month we go and get her earrings, her ear check. Um, her well, her ears check. Um. You know, until this day, if she still fails. Um, so, um, I mean, it's it, it is hard having a deaf child. I mean, I got the hang of it already, but there's still something that I gotta work on. It's just kind of hard from with me because I do go uh, to work. I do get up at six. Well, I get up at four to get to work at six, and then um, I get I get out at two thirty. But I work in Burlesville, so it takes me like seventy minutes just to come back home. I get here like at three forty, sometimes three forty-five. Just depends on traffic. Three fifty, sometimes four. It just depends. Sometimes. Um, it's like less than that it just kind of varies so then I come home I clean um, sometimes I cook some well yeah sometimes I cook and then um, you know um, I have to do laundry um, I have to like when I say I clean I mean I clean every day like I scrub my toilet I clean a lot I do have OCD, so it, it does kind of like, um, I guess you, that plays a part in it. So I do have to have the house clean, and then I have to do homework with my daughter. I gotta feed her, I gotta shower her, I gotta get her stuff uh, ready for school for the next day, get my clothes uh, set too for work. Um, you know, half of the time, um, well now I'm starting to go to the gym, um, so I kind of been making time for that. So by that time, like I really have no time to relax. I guess you could say it's just, I guess it's right now. It's just kind of hard. I am looking for something else at the time, at the moment, but for now, this is like where I do plan to stay, like my work. Um, and on top of that, I do plan on moving. I mean, I'll do an apartment tour too if you guys want. I just feel like the bathroom's really crowded. You know, I need a lot of space for my stuff. The rooms are cool. They're good size, but um But like I said, I would rather have something bigger, like a two bedroom, two bath house or I mean apartment. I don't want I don't like houses. I mean I think they're expensive and I just rather get an apartment. Um But, you know, like I said, I wanted to kind of do this video to explain her disability and tell you guys that she is dead before I bring her in into my other videos. Because um, I just don't want rude people saying, oh, why can't she talk? Because I have had people like that. You know, I'm just like, you're you're rude. Um, there was this one time where I went to um, Walmart and um, this girl was like, she's so pretty. And or said something about my daughter. I really don't remember she was just like not being able you know she didn't respond so she was just like why can't she talk how old is she so I'm just like people don't know before that you know so it's like don't assume first um just kind of be like open to things because that's like something I don't want my daughter going through I do want to help other moms out there that's going through the same thing or maybe even different who knows it just kind of depends you know um, the situation but I did kind of decide to do this video 
to tell you guys a little bit about her. It's not like, you know, once I do more videos, I will bring more things up. But right now, it's just like the main fast things. Um, because I do have like, um, a time limit because me and my boyfriend are going to go out to eat and he gets home in like two hours. So I didn't want to like be really you know say everything in just one video so um yeah i hope you like this video make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up um write down all the comments below of what you guys want me to do like if you guys want an apartment tour i'll give you that you know i'll do pranks i have like a lot of pranks that i want to do um but i'm not gonna say right now because there is a lot of people that do the same pranks but i have like my own you know my own so um i want to be able to do that i've actually thought of like some new ones like, i just want to think of outside the box oh and my youtube channel name is adventures with them like kind of like adventures with them but it's d-e-m for daisy eddie and melissa so i just thought it would be unique because everybody has like the blank family and that's how I always see it as. So I just wanted to do something different. And, um, you know, I thought it was kind of cool because it's like, oh, it's them. Like, you know, who? Like, it's them. Like, you know. So I, th I thought that was kind of cool and unique. So that is um, going to be my YouTube name. Um, but yeah, on my next video, I don't know what I plan on doing. But I do plan on bringing my daughter and Eddie in our in my videos so um I just kind of want to do this video first to like kind of explain to you guys of you know just like the basics and stuff and how I started like finding out she was deaf I mean there's more to it but I just try to I just tried to lay it off as easy as I could so yeah i hope i see you on my next um video so yeah that is it and thank you for watching